So I'm going to show you how to carve a goose, I'll show you how to obtain as much meat from possible and I'll show you how to present it and make it look really fantastic. The first thing we're going to need to do is run our knife around the side of the thigh, pulling this away from the bird and then you'll be able to turn this back on itself and crack this out of its joint and remove this in one go. The next thing we want to do is run your knife around the wing and then pull this out of its joint. This will make removing the breast really easy and set that aside. What we can now do is remove all the meat from our leg and thigh. Start with your knife flush against the thigh bone and cut down to the joint of the meat. Then again on the opposite side on the leg bone, cut down removing the large chunk of thigh meat in one piece. This can be then carved and laid onto your platter. There's also meat remaining on the back side of the leg and the thigh. All the bones are fantastic for use in stock. To remove the breast, run your knife straight along that backbone, then using your fingers, just tease the meat away from the bone while running your knife along where the meat touches the carcass. This will then come off as one piece. The breast can be then laid flat and carved. By doing this means you can serve it really nicely. It will lay down and look fantastic once presented. You can then use your knife to lay this onto your platter. When you're ready to remove the sausage meat, just remove any wooden skewers. The last thing to remove will be the sausage meat stuffing, which you can run your knife around and pull this out as one nice piece. Again, just run your knife through the sausage meat and serve alongside the breast and the thigh meat. Repeat to the second side, you'll find that any remaining meat will be just tight around the bones and this is fantastic for use in your stock or sauce. And that's how you carve your goose.